Welcome back in, everyone. My guest, Will Royal. He is a producer here, really a jack of all trades at WTOK. You will see Will tonight at 6 and 10 doing sports tonight. Just I'm a 6, that. unfortunately. Well, at 6, at 6 o'clock. Patrick rejoins us at 10. We're here to talk about NBA draft, which is Thursday night, you right? You can watch the first round right here on Channel 11. And a European sensation will go one, right? That is what's been toting around, and we're talking about the best prospects since LeBron James. So first time in about 20 or so years, we're seeing someone touted this. You know, we never saw him in college, so we don't know how good he is, but I, I've seen the highlights. He is the real deal. And San Antonio mm. has the first pick. Okay. They, they won the lottery. And their history with big men taking first overall, David Robinson. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Yeah. Those are two bona fide Hall of Famers. And everyone's saying Victor Winyama, this amazing French 19-year-old. Basically, comparing him to like likes of Dirk, you can see a little bit of Brandon Ingram in him. He's just like this tall, lanky, seven foot one kid that can just shoot, just drain threes. Like wow, like got Steph a minute Curry. left. The highest player from our region, Brandon Miller. We'll probably see him go two or three. Um, Any of his problems going to plague him at all? You think or no? That's we'll find out Thursday. Um, yeah. We could see Noah Clowney, another Alabama player, go late first round. We could see another. Obviously, we're talking about Bama players here because. You know, number one team, but yeah. we can see Charles Bediak could go late second round. NBA, if, NBA wise, New Orleans Pelicans—they only have one pick tomorrow night or Thursday night, and that is at 14. I could see him taking a center, Derek Lively, the second out of Duke. I think will go that way. Second best center in that draft class behind went Minyama. But if it's not Brandon Miller at two, I will see either Scoot Henderson or one of the Thompson brothers coming from overtime elite, which is kind of like a G League team. But when Minyama. Lock it down for one. Last time Will was here, he correctly predicted Denver in five to win the NBA championship. I can see it now. You got it. So, all right, Will, thank you. Join Will tonight doing sports at six o'clock. Uh, got a story about, among others, Joni Crenshaw Taylor uh, will be is in the news. She'll be in town Friday. Yep. Former Alabama star, yeah, uh, current Texas a and coach. Now to close it out, we're going to toss it back over to Detra with a check. On this uh, forecast, they try. Hello. All right, so filling in for Aviana, <laughs> didn't get the heads up, and got another shot, so everything looks good outside. We are tracking the tropics, though, so here's a quick check of what's happening out there in terms of Brett, but locally, our weather is A-OK. -okay. Hopefully, it'll stay that way, and hopefully that uh, if you have lunch plans, you'll get out and grab some tacos, because I know Aviana loves Taco Tuesday. Yes. So in honor of her, make sure you grab a taco or two as she's out uh, covering uh, storm damage in Jasper County. Tacos the last couple of days. We do different shows have different formats, and we have to be here and there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, it's, sometimes <laughs> we can get lost, <laughs> as I do. Too. I'm glad you gave me a heads up with something back in my head. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us for News 11 Midday. We hope you have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you again tonight at 5, 6, and 10.